Why we go then? It is indeed round five kickoff here. And well, as we head up towards turn number one, it's a very good start from Enzo Benito. And actually, he might have just got himself ahead of the Porsche of our championship leader, Tim Yarschel. Jakub Brzezinski has got ahead of Evan Siggy, and he's looking to get ahead then of Tim Yarschel. Up through turn one, they've come. Now we come through the imaginary turn number two, and the gap for Wisniewski is beautiful. Loving life as we head up towards Remus for the very first time. Tim Yasha is going to look to make a move there on Enzo Benito. No, he does not. From Kevin Siggy has just gone back up the inside of Jakub Brzezinski. He's up to P4. And well, the only big move really is Enzo Benito. Last week, a miserable week. This week, kicked off with an absolute bang. And well, is there an opportunity for Kevin Siggy? Kevin Siggy is the third car in the train. We're getting a lovely cockpit view then as we head up towards Remus for the 10th time the gap has opened up there Tim Yashu is going to drive across I think that might have been a little bit too late in terms of the defensive move but he has held on there's not too much contact actually it might be perfect and now Kevin Siggy's got to do all that work once again Enzo Benito slowing down the German just in behind him and he's now got to let Kevin go around the outside as we come down towards Schloss Gold Enzo's done the job Kevin's going to go around the outside and that's why it pays to have a teammate in and around the top with you because it makes it a little bit easier you can gain some positions as we come around the final couple of corners Nikola Wisniewski the form driver in the championship it is safe to say a couple of bad results has rendered him maybe with a slim chance of winning this championship but as he crosses the line that championship chance has just become a little bit bigger Nikola Wisniewski then does take P1 Kevin Siggy takes second Enzo Benito takes third we're about to go green light racing. It is race 10, round five of the DTM Esports Pro Series 2024. And they're almost touching as we're waiting those lights to go green. We are green light racing here. And it's not a good start from either of the front two. And I tell you what, look at this from Marcel Shinshik. Shinshik's going to make it three, maybe four wide. And also there's a red line car getting involved. That's Enzo Benito. Benito runs wide and maybe looking to put a bit of pressure on Tim Yarshul. But that is given the opportunity for Nikodem Wisniewski to get into the lead of this race. And well, we asked the question, could Kevin Siggy, Jeffrey Reba, or Nikodem Wisniewski keep this championship alive into next week? Well, Nikodem Wisniewski right now is staring down on the barrel of a double win. And well, not just keeping it alive, but with a genuine chance of winning the championship next week at the Hockenheim ring. Exactly what Wisniewski needed. And in fact, it's not over here for Tim Yarshall because he's having to try and defend. Here comes Shinjik around the outside, down in towards turn number four, trying to get that over, like trying to get the power off the corner. It's so difficult to hang it around the outside there because the right-handers feel like they never end and you can't maintain uh, that little overlap on the way in towards the left. So he's going to have to give it up for now. As we head then down towards Schlossgold, Kevin Siggy's just about got that nose up ahead. Are we going to see a bit of dooring action here? Well, a little bit, a little bit more uh, aggressive there, I would say, but nothing too crazy. Uh, and Tim Yarshaw, if you watch his replay back, if you go, Leonard, what are you getting up to there? Surely you could have made that a bit more difficult, but ultimately he's going to run wide. Kevin Siggy's going to have a little bit of contact between him. If we come through the double left-hander, I think by the time we get through the exit, it will be Kevin Siggy's corner. Although, no, Leonard Kruger is still going to keep it in. Now, this is the teammate that Tim Yashu has needed. He has needed someone to slow the pack down and cost people time who are running for the championship. And he's absolutely doing that right now. He's making that Porsche as wide as he possibly can. And the red line drivers can do nothing about it. He's now going to get across the bonnet of Kevin Siggy. I don't think Kevin's got the overlap at all. Although Crypto decides, you know what, I'm just going to keep holding this inside line. This is going to hemorrhage more time for that red line car. Can Kevin keep the overlap? Can he keep the inside line? As they head down towards Rauch, he can't. Kripner has once again scuppered Kevin Siggy. Although I think the send here, essentially, is going to get that job done. But it's a six and a half second gap now between these and the race leader. Job done. Leonard Kripner, take a bow for your team. That is beautifully done. Still going to maintain an overlap here. It's not quite done just yet. And how do they negotiate coming down on towards the pit lane when they're side by side like this? If any of them decide to do so, as there we go. I think fan out three wide diving down the inside was Jeffrey Rinkfeld there. It's all a bit chaotic back here. Now it's the two Falcon cars that are going wheel to wheel uh, with each other. Whoa, a big amount of confusion there as we're seeing a couple of cars down on towards the pit lane. This Nisky's come down here. He's got the inside line as we come through turn number one, of course, with that pit exit. And wow, Nikodem Wisniewski is going to get him. But does anybody else get him? No, he does not. So Tim Yarshall does come out into P2. Nikodem Wisniewski, like I said at the start of this race, staring down the barrel at a pair of P1s today and not just taking it, but 
It wasn't last time round for the last lap. It is this time round for the last lap. Across the line will go for Nikolaj Wisniewski, the John Cena of the DTM Esports Championship, apart from we can't see him. And well, he does take the race victory. You can tell how much it means to him. He's buzzing and he does take the championship into the final races of the season. From me, thank you very much. From Connery as well, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. We'll catch you next time where it's Falale time and maybe some fireworks on track.